Hey, welcome back to Retro Tech. So have you ever turned on a CRT only to find some nasty fold over images on the top of the screen? I mean, generally in the top quarter section of the CRT where you'll get this fold over of the horizontal image and it also do a shimmering effect sometimes. And even in some models, you'll have RGB blanking lines droop down in the picture. So we've covered this RGB line problem in the past, but today we're gonna to talk about the image fold over issue because it can happen to almost any CRT. And the problem is pretty much nine times out of 10, the same exact thing that we fixed in this video. So if you wanna try and figure it out on your own CRT, this video will be very helpful for that. If you have a PVM with this issue, this video will be especially helpful for that. Also, please note that if you need this kind of service done, this is what I do every day is fix CRTs like this. So to check out more information on how you get my services, definitely check out Patreon. That's pretty much the only place I do my work from is Patreon and for Patreon members at this point. So shameless plug for the Patreon account, uh, but that's where you'll be able to get my help for issues on your CRT. All right, so that's it. Now let's jump into the repair. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at a lovely Sony PVM and this is a 1354Q from the mid 90s. And what I wanna show you on it is an issue that does happen sometimes with these monitors. And you'll notice um, these lines up here, there are horizontal lines in the pattern where it's almost like the image folds back over on itself. All right, yes, so our issues. Again, we have these lines right here and they are horizontal lines that go across the top edge of the screen where the image looks like it's folded over on itself. And to make matters worse, we've also got our red, green, and blue blanking lines that have drooped down here into the normal viewing area. Now, if you do have a monitor like this and it's in 16 by nine or under scan mode, those lines should be visible on the screen, but they should be above your image area. And uh, so the, the problem here is it's got a couple of deflection capacitors that have definitely failed. And that's what's causing both these issues. Well, here's our board that our issues are coming from. This is our main circuit board inside the monitor. This is the flyback assembly. So it's got all the key components here. And the areas of a concern are gonna be around this heat sink. These two capacitors generally cause the issues. Same thing around this heat sink, these four capacitors. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a preventative kit on it. So we'll replace more than just the problem caps. But generally speaking, those issues come from, again, these two capacitors um, and sometimes these two right here. All these are in the same kind of like areas that affect that uh, vertical deflection. So that's our issue, those capacitors. We need to change those. Now, one other thing I did notice in here during my inspection period, and that is that someone else has been inside here messing around and we need to check out what they've done. This capacitor right here is highly suspended above the board. And if we look at the bottom side, you can see some really lousy um, solder work right here. Check that out. Yep, there we go, right, C518. So just left a bunch of flux residue, and uh, I can't tell whether they burned anything. I doubt it, but that's not really good looking. So I have to rework this solder, and I also need to check the manual and make sure that this is actually the correct value on capacitor for this. Uh, and if I have one of these, and then we'll just change this one out too. All right, here's all the capacitors that were removed from this board and that had pretty much needed to be changed as part of the whole deflection cap kit on this board. But I want to show you just these newer capacitors, how they are all installed in here. And you can obviously spot them mostly because of the coloring change. Yeah, some of them look pretty normal. You have to mix and match your cap suppliers in 2022. But maybe the most important thing to show would be the rework down here. Let me see if I can get some extra light right there. But I did rework that whole C518. I pulled the capacitor and tested it and it read uh, as good as a perfectly new capacitor. So I just reinstalled it properly, but you can see where there's some damage to the circuit board um, just on the nothing spot there that's really insignificant, but that's what was hiding under all that gloop of flux. And then now the capacitor is nice and flush against the bottom of the circuit board like it should be. 
So the remaining steps here are simple. We're going to reassemble this board and then install it back in our tube and run some tests. Hopefully that will get rid of our screen fold over, but we shall see. All right, the CRT has been reassembled. Again, you can see this is the area of deflection and our new capacitors in there. And everything's cleaned up and we're ready to test it now and see how our repair went. So let's just see what happens. I am feeding a video signal in there from the Super Nintendo. And then um, let's just see what happens as the screen pulls up. And apparently I already had this game running, but I don't see any kind of, first off, I see no image of the, or none of the red, green, and blue lines. So that's good. And I also don't see any screen fold over really there. Let's do under scan real quick and make sure that yep see so their lines those lines red green and blue are there then but in normal mode they are not there 16 by 9 should be the same way yes there we go okay so i don't see that image fold over either so let's go in and pull up the 240p test suite because that was the screen we were looking at originally and yeah see we don't have that weird fold over up here in this area so that's all been fixed. It looks like it's a pretty good screen. So here's the deal and why this repair is so important uh, because it really is. This is a problem that can happen on really any CRT as far as I know. As, I mean, I've seen it happen to consumer sets and to other PVMs as well as PC CRTs. And the problem is always not, well, the problem nine times out of 10 is related to those deflection capacitors. So if you go in to your CRT, really no matter the model, and change those deflection capacitors if you can find them, then that generally cleans up the image and fixes everything. And uh, now this thing can go back to its owner. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. And please, if you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section below. I will see you all next time with some more retro content. Oh my goodness, look what I found here. It's a black widow spider. It's not wanting to move. Oh yeah, look at that, the red dot. Holy moly, you see it down there? In the back of the abdomen, right there. Oh yeah, holy crap, wow. So glad I didn't get bit by this thing. What an awful week that would be. Ah!